I Irish representative of the house and estate of demon. Oh no, I, I just can't even do that right now. I actually think I have too many brain cells to even be able to pretend to be a sovereign citizen at this point. But we got this guy over here who definitely does not have enough brain cells. Like, I'm surprised that he's able to breathe and talk at the same time. Now, I know you guys have probably seen this elsewhere, but here it is for you anyway. I could not cover it. A few people have been complaining that I've been doing too much talking in these videos, so I'm gonna leave it play a little bit more. But it is me, so I am gonna have something to say. But I I also want to hear what you have to say down below. All right. Next matter is Mohammed Idris. He's here for arraignment on two matters. And he has one. They're all from the same date. They're all, all right, I see. So case number 3A025-7205, State versus Muhammad Idris, charges vehicle operator refused to comply with the police officer. There are two infraction charges as well, 3A009-6934, it's violation of a special uh, trip permit and 3A009693, uh, failure to obey traffic control device and failure to renew his expired registration on a vehicle. Mr. Kale, any contact from Mr. Idris? Uh, either Mr. Idris or a representative of Mr. Idris is present on Zoom, Your Honor. Uh, and See? I believe he may tend to proceed pro se or at least without the assistance of public defense. So I would ask the court to inquire with him about that. I will. So um, on the screen listed is Mohammed authorized representative for Mohammed Idris. Is that right? First of all, uh, I uh, object to public defender saying that I'm pro se, which I am not. I'm the authorized representative on behalf of the state. And uh, I would like to request for continuance due to uh, I made a request for uh, uh, discovery and there was no email provided to me. And I was informed that only a phone number is available. And I called that phone number and uh, there was no answer and they, I did not get any voicemail. And out of the three cases, I only received notice for two. One is missing. I don't have the paperwork for that. Uh, due for that reason, I would like to get a uh, continuous. All right, so let's start with this. Are you Mohammed Idris? Let's get the name straight to begin with. Uh, that's the estate on the trust. I'm the authorized representative on behalf of the estate that the court is trying to administrate. Well, the state's not charging the uh, estate. This, the state is charging Muhammad Idris. So that's who we need to address. Is that you, is my question. Uh, I object if uh, I have a question for, uh, that's a question for the prosecutor, correct? Well, you're you're here asking for a continuance because you want something else. I, I have to know who it is that is requesting the continuance, and and how you speak on behalf of Muhammad Idris. I'm the authorized representative of the state. Uh, like my uh, family name is Idris, given name Muhammad Ismail, for the estate which is Mohammed Ismail Idris, a state on a trust. All right, as I say, you're, the estate is not being charged with a criminal offense. Mohammed Ismail Idris is being charged with criminal offenses. Now, you indicate I that you only got that. two of the three notices. Which charges did you get notice of? 
Did you get uh, notice I, uh, for the failure to obey traffic sig signal? I object to you're saying the is this has nothing to do with the estate. Is it has everything to do with the estate and the trust that's being charged. Well, not to be argumentative, Mr. Idris, but the state wasn't driving the vehicle. I suspect the uh, city is, or the state will try to prove that Mohammed Idris was driving the vehicle. That's their job in this case. Uh, I object. That's a hearsay. It's a, uh, the court is assuming and presuming that's the case, which is not. So if you can continue with the uh, continuous, I'll appreciate it. Well, I'm going to ask the city or the state rather to establish probable cause at this time on the uh, charge ending in or the case number ending in 7205, which is the vehicle operator refusing to comply with the officer. You've already been sworn, Ms. Mann, so we'll go ahead. Um, the charge of refusal to give information on May 11th, 2023, Officer Kelsley responded to her request for assistance from Officer Turner, who had performed a traffic stop on a commercial motor vehicle that was traveling in a left lane prohibited for CMV's southbound I-5 at mile post 96. The driver is later ID'd by his DOL photo on file as Mohammed Ismail Idris. And uh, I object. Both officers within the, the court, despite multiple... Mr. Idris, hold on, Ms. Court, Mr. Idris, please, court, this, let her finish. Court, okay. Let her finish. Go ahead, Ms. Mann. Refuse to provide My both point. officers with an ID despite multiple requests by both officers. He was cited for operating a vehicle and refusing to comply with the police officer and released. He was also charged with the infractions at that time? Uh, yes, Your Honor. And I have a probable cause for the special fuel trip permits violation as well, if you'd like. Yes, why don't you give us that too? On May 16th, 2023, Officer Turner observed a tractor trailer traveling south on I-5 near milepost 98, speeding and traveling in a restricted left lane. The officer made contact with the driver who refused to identify himself was identified through his DOL photo on file as Mohammed Ismail Idris. While looking up his inspection history, uh, it was revealed that the registration on the power unit had expired several months earlier and was revoked by the Washington State Department of Licensing. He was cited and released. Is it my turn to speak? All right, Mr. Idris, it's now your turn. Go ahead. Uh, I object. I, I requested for continuous and I was not informed if it was denied or granted. And I do not consent to being uh, for the court to move forward. If you guys decide to move forward, I prefer physically present instead of a Zoom call. If you guys decide to continue. And what's the basis of your objection again? Why you want a continuance? The reason I need the continuance is out of the three cases, the case number, I only got two notices, not the third one. One is missing. And also I requested for discovery to the uh, clerk of the court. And they said, uh, I have to get hold of uh, the prosecutor office. And I got hold of the prosecutor office. There's no email for me to request for the discovery. The only way is a phone number. When I called the phone number, nobody answered. So how can you guys continue without, I don't even have any discovery. So I don't know what's up, uh, up against me. I don't have the details of the discovery. Well, you've heard what's against you. Ms. Mann just repeated what she believes the city, the state will be able to prove in this case. Um, There is not be, a proper notice. Mr. Idris, hold on. It may be that the two infraction numbers appeared on the same document, case ending in 933 and case ending in 934, since they're both infractions. And then the second one would end in 205, which is a criminal charge. So that's a possibility. But based on your request for 
to have this set over, we will set out the arraignment and you may appear in person. There's nothing stopping you from appearing in person. Uh, physically present. Yes, in person. All right, although I believe there is probable cause been established, I'm not going to find that today to give Mr. Idris the opportunity to look at all these documents. And Ms. Mann, is there some better way for him to request the discovery in this case that he's talking about? Um, not that I know of, Your Honor. I can check with my supervisor. If you... All right, go ahead. In the meantime, while we're looking for that information, Mr. Idris, <clears throat> I want to confirm a mailing address for, for you or for your estate. Let me check for a moment. Uh, I object. Uh, I'm not a mister. Well, I mean, it is a whole new world that we live in. And to be fair, I've seen some ladies with beards. I live near the mountains. There's plenty of ladies with beards. But obviously, he's given it the whole, I'm not a corporate fiction i'm the living man on the land under whatever you know the usual bullshit pardon me i say i object i want to make a correction you you called me mister i'm, I'm not a mister mister is a title is your address still on 8th avenue in seattle mailing address i don't have an address i have a location a private location I can only receive for mail-in purposes only for notices. Is that a P.O. box ends, in Tukwila? That ends with triple nine eight. I'm seeing a P.O. box eight. stated eight eight zero eight one, Tukwila, Washington. And there's a dash at the end nine 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 eight. There's triple nine and eight. Those four digits is very important to put it on there. So 88081-888-9? No. I missed those last, the last four up. 88081-what? What's next? Like I said, I don't have an address. I have a private location where I can receive for mailing purposes only. And the only thing I will uh, and indicate is the last four digit after the end of the location would ends 9998. Is that a street address or a mailbox? Post office box. That's my mailing location where, where I can receive notices only. Um, we can't address notice to you at 9998. I need more than that. What happens, Mr. Idris, is if you don't respond to this, there's going to be a warrant issued for your arrest. We have to give you notice first. That's what we're trying to get established here. Uh, I object. Notices can be sent to me through my e uh, private email. As Are you well. going to give us that private email? The court has it on file. Your Honor. Candace, do we have that? Uh, Your Honor, good afternoon. This is uh, DPA Tom Perro. Before we uh, proceed beyond this case, I'd like to address the court. All right, I'm, I'm trying to get a mailing address here. Mr. Idris, we have two addresses from the Department of Licensing. One is on 8th Avenue in Seattle, and the other is a P.O. Box in Tukwila. If you're not willing to provide us with your email address, we're going to just send notice to those two addresses. I object. Again, I'm going to make a correction. I'm not a mister, which is a title. 
if you can call me with my proper name, which is a family name and a given name, I'll appreciate that. Yes, Mohammed Idris. We're going to send notice to those two addresses that we have. You meant to say unless it's, you give uh, us something family. different. You meant to say uh, my family name, which is Idris. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your family name here in Ireland would be Egypt. I and mean, he's going to have to watch himself because he'll end up getting this warrant. Imagine the kids at home. Mammy, where's daddy? Well, Mohammed bin lifted. All right, we're going to use that. That's what he sent to us, requesting information about court, correct? All right, looks like we do have an email address for you when you Runner, request um, it. Just before we go in. All right, Mr. Farrow, let's hear from you. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I was listening on the YouTube. Um, I wanted to address the court just to highlight the fact that Mr. Mr. Idris was given the constitutionally required notice at the scene on at least two of these cause numbers. There are citations in the record. Those were hand uh, handed to him and he was advised of the upcoming court date. Uh, that's kind of my first point. So I think I, if the if the court wants to continue, I, I don't know when he was first scheduled for arraignment, but it looks like this has been going on for a little bit. If the court wants to continue on those two matters, I'm happy to. I mean, it, it says here it's check the box for the ticket was served on the violator. Um, I'm happy. I guess I could send something to one of these email addresses, but I would also urge the court to note that if you look on jabs, we've we've tried sending mail to Mr. Idris. It is not or it's been returned. Finally, Your Honor. And I'm not trying to be silly about this, but I, I, I've sort of heard these arguments before in court, and I think I know where we're going with this. Um, the state's not satisfied legally that the defendant in this case has appeared today. I think he's claiming to be some sort of representative for some sort of a state or trust or other nonsense. But based on Mr. Idris's failure to appear today, the state would request the court to issue a warrant in the amount of $10,000. Thank you, Your Honor. 